Welcome to the Back Row by Tiger TV. I'm Elizabeth Sulos and I'm joined by Matt Crowhurst. We're here tonight to present to you fortnightly updates on the East Tiger games and gossip and news. We're lucky enough tonight to have head coach Scott Sipple join us, kick off our first show for the year. Welcome, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to have you here. <laughs> Mate, uh, first game of the season on the weekend, but before that we had a few players with long-term injuries rehabbing over the summer. Um, how are they going? Do you think we'll see guys back in time for round one? Um, just Dane Hogan's still probably four or five weeks away, so he's probably round three best, yep. I think. Um, Tommy Butterfield is probably round 12 to 14, so you know, don't expect oh, him wow. to be back. You know, he's had a major shoulder recon. Um, so they're they're the probably two main players that you know you, you'd know. So you know they're still a while off. So I don't want to put pressure on them. So they'll get back when they're yeah you know, when they're fit when they're good and ready. Yeah. And um, first trial on Saturday night against Ipswich, Ipswich in atrocious conditions. How did everyone uh, pull through with that? Mate, she was testing. Um, <laughs> yeah. you know, a bit of drop ball there. So mo most of the boys pulled up well. The, the only injury we got out of it was Lee Fahala. So okay. he, um, done a knee. So it's not too bad. Probably three or four weeks. So he might be back for round one but if not round two good all right and you didn't play a lot of the top liners you let them keep resting and had a few new guys in there gave you a chance to look at people like chris oswald tommy price joshy everett yeah how did those guys go yeah mate the first trial arrested probably 10 blokes so you know we we trialed the new players and you know the first year is out of colts is get them playing against men to see how they go um it was pretty good for them you know it's a good hit out you could yep. you know they can see themselves if they're off the pace you know if they're honest with themselves and they yeah, the feedback they give me, yeah, they could, yeah, they said they're off the pace a little bit, but it's good experience for them. Yep. Um, yeah, they all went well, so it's a good bit of taste for them, give them something to, you know, achieve later in the year, hopefully. Fantastic. Mm, perfect. So now that the boys are playing games, what are their training regime? Uh, now we're in the game, we're doing uh, more game orientation stuff, yep. so, you know, left and right, doing more game-specific drills, so trying to find out who's who in the zoo, what position wise. So yeah, perfect. Um, so, you know, tonight we did a little bit of wrestling. Yeah. Um, a bit of defence, so also a little bit of uh, skills work on our positional play. Yeah, perfect. Um, so the club also signed up uh, Javon White. And what skills are, is he bringing to the team? Well, uh, Javon's um, been here since 4th of Jan, so we signed him you know, a couple of weeks before Christmas. He's a um, very experienced player. Yep. Um, he brings brings a bit of pace out the back there. Nice. The good thing I, I, I've noticed with Jarvan is nothing phases him. You yeah. know, it doesn't matter what the situation is, he just doesn't whinge, just gets on with the yeah, job. Yeah, lovely. Rips in, he's only a little man, but he um, <laughs> he rips in everything he does, 100 miles an hour, and he's you know, he's rubbing off in the group, so he's fitting in very well. Yeah, perfect. We're, uh, we're pretty lucky to have a very experienced squad out there, a lot of natural leaders amongst the team. How are you going at thinning down the candidates for the captaincy? Um, mate, uh, you know, it's the natural leaders will step up. So, you know, some leaders talk more, some don't. Some, you know, lead by their actions. So, a couple of experienced boys on the sideline. So, I'll have to go off the past years and what they bring to the team. But, um, you know, in the next couple of weeks, we'll probably have our captain and vice captain so all sorted. So, it's coming. The group's getting smaller. Fantastic. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, thank you for joining us, Scott, and I, I think that'll do us for our first episode of The Back Row for 2016. So again, thank you, Sips, for joining us. Not a problem, mate, any time. And uh, thank you to my fantastic new co-host, Elizabeth. Thank good, you. Uh, good job on debut. <laughs> and uh, most importantly, thank you to all of you, the fans out there. Thank you for uh, your ongoing support, and we look forward to bringing you lots more of Tigers-related stuff across the whole season. Don't forget, you can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, and of course on the website at www.thetigers.com. Please don't ever hesitate to get in touch. We'd love to hear from you, to hear what's going on out there. And uh, we'll do it all again in two weeks.